everyone, Rosanne White here from Live Fit in Scottsdale, Arizona. And today we are going to work on our core with the vibration platform of your choice. Because as I always say, any vibration platform you have is the perfect one. I see that a lot on our VIP page. People are like, oh, did I get the right one? Yes, you did. Whatever vibration platform you have is the right one. I also am going to be working with the um, Sculpt Trainer Light, which is behind me here. You can see that. So um, I want to welcome everybody. I'm going to hang out here for a few minutes. Get in front of everything. I'm going to hang out for a few minutes because um, we want to make sure that our VIP group get on as well as all our um, social media followers on the Life Pro business page. So I want to welcome you. Uh, if you are not familiar with Life Pro products and Life Pro Lives, Myself, Amber, and Debbie come on weekly to present different products that Life Pro has. We, they, Amber usually introduces the new, the latest and greatest, and Debbie is a plethora of knowledge on vibration platforms and other products. Um, and I'm kind of like more the fitness guru, if you will. So um, all of our lives are recorded. They're, you can eventually find them on YouTube. Uh, they are always on the Life Pro page and also on the VIP page. But I wanted to let you know, if you're a part of our VIP group, I have uh, compiled a document with all the links for all the lives, organized pretty well, I think. I really tried hard to make sure that it was clear for you to understand on ways you can use not only the vibration platforms, but all of the Life Pro equipment. So, um... Uh, it's about time for an update every quarter. I go ahead and update it and we are definitely into a third quarter. So pay attention because I'm going to be uploading a new document. Give me a couple days to gather everything. And uh, in a couple days, I will be putting up a brand new document, an updated document with all the lives from the last three months. So um, some of the quality of the videos aren't as great as others, but the information I hope you find is quality. And it works for you because everybody is different. All our issues and our tissues are different. But I know we share a co common, common goal is to just feel better, to look better, feel better, move better. And that's why I absolutely love Life Pro products for that reason. I know we have a lot of new newbies in our group, so I just want to welcome you. And I'm here as, as well as Amber and Debbie and all the guiding angels of Life Pro to help you in any way we can. Um, I'm going to put on the chat box. I don't know. I've been having a little, um, I see a bunch of people on. So type in the chat and say hi, because I haven't been getting a lot of feedback on the chat box. So I don't know if you just don't want to say hi to me or not, but type in, say hi. Let me know where you're coming, tuning in from. If you have a vibration platform, which one it is. If you have the um, sculpt trainer light that's called the Roman chair. Uh, and then we will uh, start in our live. A couple things you're going to need. Now, what I did is I decided to break this session down to about four or five different sessions. So there are many sessions in this one. Now, some of this might not apply to you because you don't stand yet on a platform. Uh, some of this might not apply for you because you can't get down on the floor. So I want to break it down to sitting in a chair, um, standing on the platform, sitting on the ground, and also hands and arms on the ground. Then I'm going to also go into some movement on the sculpt trainer. So this is going to be the last item that I'm going to work with. So if you don't want to pay attention right now, watch watch the video later and fast forward to this. But I wanted to feature the vibration platform because many of us own one or two <laughs> or three, in my case, five or six, <laughs> but um, we own a vibration platform. And I know if you're like me and everybody else, I hear it all the time. I want a stronger core. Absolutely. The core is the, your core is the most important thing. And what I like to describe this, and I might've said it before, you might've heard it. Think about this. You cut off your arms, you cut off your head. You cut off your legs and you are left with your core. That means chest, belly, mid, mid belly, lower belly, butt muscles, 
back muscles, shoulder stabilizers. That's your core. And we want to make sure we can strengthen everything from the inside out. Breathing is super important for you when you're working core movements. Well, any movements for that matter. Especially the fact that many of us, and you might be one of them, that tends to breathe chest breathing. Every time you inhale, you lift your chest, exhale, you're dumping it. I want to encourage you, and you can do this right now. We all can do it. Give yourself a hug so your fingertips are wrapping around you, okay? And I want you to breathe so that you can feel the ribs expanding out into your hands. And exhale. Ribs go out and in. My hands go out and in. So we're going to focus on diaphragmatic breathing, inhaling through the side and back body, exhaling, drawing it in like a corset, okay? That's going to be key. So you can work your diaphragmatic muscles instead of the chest or in yoga. And now I teach yoga and they do a lot of belly breathing where you fill up the belly and empty the belly. That's belly breathing. This is rib cage breathing and this is chest breathing. Sometimes we put it all together too, but I want you to be aware that breath, especially diaphragmatic breathing, is super, super important in what we're doing. So you don't, what I call pop, inhale, pop out all the energy, exhale, dump, and then you open up the back energy. So I don't want you to dump, okay? Number two, and I'm going to tie my hair back now, um, head and neck placements are super duper important. And uh, if you haven't already seen some of my Pilates live streams, get the document I talked about and look at the Pilates that, on the platform series. I've done several Pilates videos. I've been a Pilates teacher since 2002. Gosh, that's a long time. And I can only tell you this from experience of working with men and women like you guys that Head and neck placement are super important because if your head's dropping forward, it's going to be a direct result of what happens in the back and the shoulders, okay? If you are lifting your chin all the time to do work, you're dumping in your neck. So I want you to have good head and neck placement. This is why I love my very inexpensive prop. It's a towel, right? You're going to take a towel behind your head so that you can keep your head over, I'm going to show you from the side, over the shoulders, over the hips, over the uh, knees and feet. So when we do our work, you'll focus on that. Now we're going to do flexion work. So this is not going to be a complicated workout and it's going to be kind of redundant because my goal today is for you to engage your core through different mechanisms. The first one is flexion. We have thoracic flexion that's right Ladies, bra strap area, men, right where the hollow of the ribs are. Flexion, it's not big for some of us. This is not flexion with the head coming forward. Okay, that is not flexion. That's really un <laughs> kind of unhealthy neck placement. I want flexion where the belly pulls in and up. I'm going to suck my abdominals in. That's flexion. Extension, thoracic extension, and I don't have a lot of it, is where you pull the shoulder blades down and you're gonna feel these back muscles contracting. That's extension. Now, lumbar flexion is belly button. Here's lumbar flexion. I've got thoracic too. I stack up and then if I go in lumbar extension, I'm gonna kind of push my hips forward. My belly stays in and I'm extending in my lumbar. Watch your neck on this. Many people throw their, I don't even do this without my hand, throw their head back. And that's pretty tough on neck too. I speak from a place of degenerative discs in my neck and an S-curve in my neck. So I understand about neck issues. That's why I'm super, super critical of head and neck placement for all of us. So weak muscles, tight muscles will keep us in a place that isn't healthy for the rest of our spine. So flexion extension are two things we'll work on. We also work on, and our spine is meant to side bend. So we side bend from the side of the ribs all the way to the side of the waist down, okay? Now, men more than women are limited, but it doesn't mean it can't get better. These are our 
oblique muscles and our QL, our quadratus lumborum muscles, having to contract. But you've got to keep your belly in. you got to keep your head in the right place. Okay, so know that. So we're going to work on flex, um, side bending, lateral bending. We're also going to work on rotation. And when I talk about rotation, sometimes we don't think too much about it because we think if we, we turn our arms, we're rotating. But rotation is your spine rotating along a pole. I don't move my hips when I rotate my torso, my chest, my shoulders, and my head. If I start moving my hips, I'm really not getting rotation. If you are a golfer, tennis player, pickleball player, there is full rotation of hips. There's all that going. But today I'm suggesting that we really focus on stabilizing pelvis. So that means all these muscles have to really work without any... Um, uh, interference and that you're going to feel your oblique muscles obliques go across to rotate okay we're going to feel our shoulders rotating one shoulder comes forward one comes back we're going to feel a lot of that and the last thing that really rotates guys is your head many people and i'll call this out many people when i do rotation they'll they'll turn watch watch my hands my thumbs are right at my chest they'll move their hands, then they're going to move their head and they think they're rotating, but they haven't. True rotation of the thoracic spine is the, the, the torso, I lift up through the belly, rotate, 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 and then the last thing to rotate, I might turn my head, but I don't have to go so far, okay? So I want to feel that rotation. You'll find, and if you, most of us have a little scoliosis going on, I rotate far better to my left than I do my right because that's where my scoliosis, I can't even say it, is on my right. So there's going to be one side better than the other. Just honor that. Hope this is making sense for you guys so far. I know I've chatted away, but this is very foundational information for everything we do. So let's go ahead and um, if you have any questions, type them in the chat. I'm going to grab some water. Um, and let me know if you're you're tuning in on our VIP page. Say hello. I, I want to make sure we're on VIP. We've been having a problem with that. So I've been sharing the lives with that page. But we're getting out the bugs. You know, um, Facebook changed their algorithm and all this really weird technology stuff. So, okay. I have the Rumplex Pro 4D. What level do you put it on? There's a whole bunch of schools of thought on this. And for this particular one, I want to go mid-range. So whatever platform you have, just go in the middle, not too fast, not too slow. And I'm going to go in oscillation mode just for the heck of it. Let me tell you, you can go lateral, you can go pulsate, you can do the whole P1, 2, P2, P3 program. Um, I'm more concerned right now with what your body is doing on it. The benefit is the platform moving energy in all these different ways, moving you around while you're trying to maintain stability and mobility, okay? So let's have a seat. Um, this chair is about two foot tall. My knees are a little bit below my hip joint. I do not want your knees higher. I do not want your knees too low, okay? Because, well, I don't mind them lower, but I don't want you have to dump so much. Try to get them where they're just below the hip joint. And I'm on oscillation mode. I'm going to go to a speed of, oh, about 30-ish. About 30-ish. So, guys, here's what's going to happen first. We're going to take our towel, okay? I'm, my elbows, can you see this? My elbows are in front of my shoulders. Okay, I'm going to sit nice and tall. And I want to press my feet into the platform so I feel the length of my spine. Crown of the head to the sky tailbone back. And we're going to work on flexion of the thoracic spine. So I'm going to flex over, exhale, and then inhale. I'm going to let my eyes go up, my head goes back up. Push into the platform with your legs. Exhale, and inhale. Do this slow. You don't need to do a lot. I'm going to tell you right now, I would say five to ten reps of each because you don't have to be here forever 
the whole language of your core is do you feel the contraction and do you feel the extension, meaning I'm going to take my towel away. Do you feel your ribs sliding down? Do you feel your shoulder blades sliding down and creating some space here? So it's not very big. You might have more flexion. Now, if you don't want to use a towel, use your fingers, but don't pull your head forward, okay? Exhale and inhale. That's the first move, okay? And there's work. If you're going slow and feeling it, you're, you've got it. Now, the next one is my side bending. Now, let me move my platform over. I should, should have placed it differently. Sorry about that. I want to make sure that you can see my see the wrinkles in my shirt, because that's how I tell if someone's doing it correctly. I watch the wrinkles in their shirt, okay? So grab your towel again. Feet can be wide. That's totally fine. You can even put a bender, uh, the mini, mini stability ball or the re resistance bands around the legs or the ball between legs for a little more core work, okay? Elbows wide. We're going to side bend. So my head is going with my arms. I'm going to press into the opposite foot for space on the one side. Come back to center. Inhale. Exhale. Head goes. I'm pulling the, 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 the towel apart. I'm pushing in now. What is my right foot as I bend to the left? Inhale to center, lengthen your spine, exhale, side bend. Push your head back, elbows slightly forward. Push into both feet, but you're pushing in the opposite direction of your bend. Bending to your right, you push into the left foot. So you feel a lot of contraction on the bend side and a lot of stretch on the open side. Let's do that again. Exhale. Feel the contractions, feel the space, inhale, navel point pulled in. Now we're going to hold this just for a little bit. Hold it to the side and little tiny pulses. Let's go for five, press into the opposite four, opposite foot, three, eyes are forward, two, one, come back to center, shoulders relax, bend to the other side, remember pushing opposite foot and let's Drop the head and shoulders. Five, four, you should be able to feel this. Three, two, one, come back to center and relax your arms. Roll your shoulders up. So the side bending is here all the way to the hip. My pelvis stays still, got it? I don't want the pelvis to move, I just want the core muscles. So now that I've done flexion, extension, side bending, those are three movements in my spine, I'm gonna go into rotation, okay? Let's hold uh, the towel in front of us like this, okay? So you want to put your thumbs, kind of maybe put them in your armpits so they don't move. Breathe in, exhale, rotate to your right. <sighs> Inhale, center, exhale, rotate to your left. <sighs> Inhale, center, exhale, rotate right. Even weight in both feet. This is really where a, a bender ball, or sorry, a middle mini stability ball is helpful. Because I don't want the pelvis to shift. I want you to feel both sitting bones. When I rotate to my right, I want to feel my left sits bone anchored. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate to the left. Feel the right foot and sits bone. Now you can add the pulses here too. We rotate first and pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to center. Exhale, rotate to the opposite side and pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. And center. Okay, so now we're done rotation muscles. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into flexion with rotation and then extension. So I've got this full oblique and back muscle work. I can put, you can put your fingertips on your head. I want you to use the towel just because it really forces you to keep shoulders in a great clip and chest open, okay? So let's do one round of those. Okay, so tall inhale. Exhale, we're gonna uh, bring armpit toward knee. When we come back, we're going to go let the eyes look to the sky, elbow pulls back. Exhale forward and bend, inhale and extend. I've got rotation, flexion, and extension. 
exhale, and inhale. My head just goes for the ride. Exhale, and inhale. One more time. Exhale, and inhale. And back to center. Let's go the other side. So we sit tall to start, press into the feet, inhale, prepare. Exhale, rotate, feel armpit to the knee, not elbow. Inhale, lift the eyes to the sky. Exhale, get feet heavy in the platform. And inhale. Exhale, rotate. I always come back through center and then rotate and lift. Two more. Exhale, rotate. Inhale and up. Last one. And up. So I'm doing five, as I mentioned. Reps, rep wise, let's see, that took all of how many minutes have I been on? Maybe um, about five to seven minutes to get all that work in. Okay, that's a quick little core workout. Sitting. Now we're going to do the same thing standing. I move the chair. I'm going to put in front. Yeah, it was not even six minutes according to my platform. So my platform, I'm going to shut it off for a second so it doesn't shut off in the middle of this. Challenge yourself if you've got the rumlex, maybe go lateral. There's a little more shifting going on, okay? Lateral uh, uh, oscillate or just plain out oscillate. Okay, so I think I'll, just, I'll stick to the oscillation mode. And I'm going to go into um, about 30 again. I'm hoping my camera doesn't cut me off. Oh, yeah, it's going to cut me off. Let me move my camera up. I hope you guys are, are liking this, this concept of easy but effective, okay? Now, I would say, again, suggest the same thing. I don't have a ball with me. Do I know? You can put a bender ball. I keep calling the bender ball. That's what I know to be. The mini stability ball. You can take a, a pillow, put it between your knees. That's going to engage more pelvic floor, okay? I don't have, well, let me get one. Let me. It's right here. Why not? Okay. I got my Life Pro uh, mini stability ball. I'm going to put it up, up. This is called birthing the ball. It's going to help force me to kind of get my thigh bones in and my lower belly muscles. Now, same deal, guys. I'm going to just go through this five reps of each, okay? Nice and tall stand. Inhale. I'm going to exhale Look toward my toes. Inhale, restack. Careful here. Let the eyes go to the sky. Exhale. Pull belly in and up. Push the head back into the towel. Let the eyes gaze up. Let the head go back. You got to go slow on this because now we're talking about some balance work. And um, it's kind of scary when your head goes back. And you have to really rely on your feet. You can do this barefoot, by the way. I'm just keeping my shoes on. Exhale. Pull the belly up and in. Inhale. One more of these. My elbows always stay in front. This is my thoracic flexion. Great. I haven't done lumbar flexion. That's that full bend, okay? But we can do that. Let's go ahead and do just a few of those. Tuck the chin to the chest, bend the knees softly, flex over, head goes down, squeeze the ball, pull the spine up, and roll up. Okay, I have a soft bend in my knees. Tuck the chin, look to the floor, dive down, exhale, push the head back into the towel, inhale. If you feel very unstable, don't hesitate to put hands on the thighs, pull belly up and in. Let the shoulders drop. Breathe in. Let the top, let your back press up and stack. So there's your lumbar flexion, okay? From here, side bending. I'm not going to use the towel, but you can, okay? Bend to the side. Feel this rib to hip connection. Belly in. Squeeze the ball. Inhale, center. Exhale. I'm not making this real complicated. I could add knee ups, I can do all these crazy things, but I want you again to just isolate the bending and the stretching. My head goes with me. Spine, cervical spine is alignment. If you want to hold down here for a little bit like we did on the other side, we can pulse five, four, 
three, you gotta push in the opposite leg, two, one, come back up, exhale, you can feel all the weight in the, I'm bending to the left, so my left foot, I feel the weight, but I wanna press into my right, five, four, three, two, one, and back to center. And now we're working obliques. Okay, from here, we're gonna go into rotation. Okay, once again, towel. I'm gonna hold it right at my chest because I wanna get my arms out of the way. It's my torso. Soft knees, exhale, rotate right. Inhale, center, exhale, rotate left. I really like the ball between my knees here because I don't want my hips to move. When I'm rotating right, my right hip bones forward, I rotate left, my left hip bone goes forward. Inhale, if you're a golfer, tennis player, this is so important for your follow through and your takeaways in your sports. If the hips start moving, you're losing the essence. Let's hold it here in pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to center. Breathe in, rotate left and pulse. Five little breaths. Five, four, three, two, one. And release. Now I could add our movements. I can make it really dynamic, but I want to make sure you're feeling core muscles do the work. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to remove the towel on this one. I'm going to add flexion, rotation, restack, and extension. Look up. Flexion, rotation, stack up, rotation with extension. Exhale, and inhale, two more, exhale, and inhale, I'm thinking armpit pointing down, I'm not pointing my elbow, pulling my elbow in, elbow stay wide, and then other side, stand tall to start, relax shoulders, you can even put your hands in front of your head if you want to do it that way, so you go, drop your head, and then come back and gaze up. Oh, that feels good. A little more challenging for me when my hands are in front of my head, which is good. Hands behind the head is actually quite easier. Now, the whole point is that watch your hips on this, okay? I just noticed my hip wants to go back on that side. Isn't that interesting? Two more. So I come up and over. Like, there's a big beach ball. You're coming over it. Knees are pointing forward, then I stack back up, and then I keep my knees pointing forward and extend. One more time. Exhale, rotate, and inhale, derotate and extend. Okay, so I've covered all my bases there. Now I'm going to get down on the floor. So that was about four minutes, okay? You can go slower. Slower actually is better. It's not about how many reps. I can't emphasize that enough. Quality movement. I'll say that over and over again. If you know me, you've heard me say it a lot. You don't need the chair for this. Boy, I can tell you what. <laughs> I can feel all those muscles. And uh, I'm going to the California to the beach next month. That means uh, pulling out the bathing suit there. Okay, I'm coming down to the floor, so I'm going to bring you down a little bit here so you can see. I'll bring the whole unit down. So you can see me on the floor. Now what I have done is um, I'm going to shut my machine off. I'm going to go back to uh, a little bit of a side movement here. I like the towel. Now if you can use your mat that came with your vibration platform, but I'll tell you what, this is going to go into my back. So I want to pad it up a little bit. Let's see, I think I like it like that. Yeah, this will be fine. Okay. <clears throat> now, a couple things I want to point out here. Get my towel right. My blanket right. <clears throat> you have an option. You. I want to first make sure you're right in where your navel is. You're right in the middle, okay? So that my machine's not on yet. Your legs can be straight and you get the hip flexors out of it. I prefer that. If you feel it's not comfortable for your back, go ahead and bend your knees. That's totally fine. But I want to feel the middle of my spine 
below the bra strap, almost like your shoulder blades could rest on the, on the machine, okay? That should be a cue. If you're too low, your shoulder blades can't rest. If you're too high, you're going to feel more lower belly, which is okay, but it's going to be a lot harder to go back and forward, okay? I want the middle of your spine. I have a short waist, and there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> so I have to work in a... In a, maybe a little different range. If you have a long right waist, find again a place that feels right for you. But I don't want to. I don't want to rest my shoulder. I don't want to be so far down here. Okay, I need some bending. Okay, the the blanket is going to stop, uh, make it a little softer on the edges. Again, I'm putting legs straight out. And again, if you have this ball, squeeze. The, oops, squeeze the ball. That's going to engage a lot of, and, and Amber has said this before in her videos, that's going to engage deep lower pelvic floor muscles. Super important, no matter man, woman, or child. All right? Wait, something's going on in my head. There we go. Okay, guys, here we go. Five moves. Okay, we're going to be in neutral, looking up. I'm going to exhale, flexion. If you can put a fist under your chin, you're good. If you drop your chin to your chest, not good, okay? And extension. You can have the towel. I'm all over the place, aren't I? <laughs> there we go. Extension, look up. Exhale, flexion. Inhale. You get a little vibration on the shoulder blades. This should feel good for your back. And exhale. Inhale, extend. And press your, squeeze your ball, exhale. The main thing I want you to feel is that you're pulling your ribs down to your hip bones. And you're feeling all those rectus abdominis muscles engaging. Draw that navel in. One more. Now from here, I'm going to side bend. I'm going to side bend to my right, pushing my shoulders into the platform and left and right and left i can do so many things with this i can add my legs to this but i don't want to i just want to get this movement of your spine let's go three head goes with you three both legs even the ball between the legs keeps you from shifting your hips one more each way. And lastly, hey, I'm going to slide it a little bit. Um, I'm going to keep my knees bent for this one, keeping my feet rather far away. My sits bones are anchored down the floor. Now I'm going to rotate and bend. I'm going to derotate and extend. Look back. Center, rotate, flex. Center and lean back, open up. Exhale, rotate. Eyes look to the floor, eyes look to the sky. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. One more. Back to center, other side. Exhale, rotate and bend. Inhale and extend. <laughs> Push down in the opposite foot of where your head is turning to make sure your hips don't shift. I was laughing because this is where my left hip wants to pop up. So I've got to push down in my left foot and come back center. Woo, burn, maybe burn. Two more. And back, extend. And one more. And back to step. Wow, I really felt that one. I hope you did too. Okay, so the last part I'm going to do with this is um, we're going to put our hands or forearms on the platform. Uh, I'm going to put my platform, I shift it a little bit so that I'm facing this way so you can see me. I'm going to do a little bit of moving around here. Now, if you are kneeling on your knees, 
move this guy out of the way. Put the towel under your knees. You see, I just padded up. That I have a little bit of towel that or blanket that I padded. I made a second, a little bit higher layer because that way my shins rest and my kneecaps are. Uh, uh, my, my, I'm pressing my shins. Hands. For those of you with wrist issues, take your towel and then put the heel of your hands on the towel so your fingers spread wide. Okay. We're in what we call table pose. Let's go ahead and start our platform. Now flexion is going to be a little different here, okay? Because I'm going to, it's kind of a cat cow feeling. What I want to do is press my finger pads in. I'm going to rep, pull my belly up and in. My head slightly drops. And then I'm going to lift my butt. Now I'm trying to drop my belly. Okay, you want to drop that. Exhale, press. This is our basic cat cow. Now you can say, well, how's this working my core? I'll tell you in a second. Okay, I just want you to get cat cow feeling first. Now, lift up your knees, you're on your toes. Now, push away and drop the knees, look forward. Exhale, push and drop forward. Or eyes forward, drop the knees. Exhale, push. Look, eyes gazing forward, last one. Exhale, push, and back. Now, if you like that, you stay there. If it's too much on your wrists, you can go on your forearms and do the same thing. Flex the spine, and then drop the knees, extend. That's an option. You can also start here by pushing the forearms into the table and dropping the knees and drop the belly a little bit. Lift the butt, push up. I like to do this more on my hands though. This for me feels better. So I'll go into my plank, right? I'll push away in a plank. I'm gonna drop my knees down and I'm just gonna bring my pelvis forward slightly. There's extension. I'm gonna bring my hips back to neutral, push away, plank, and then back to extension. And then back. So that's your flexion extension on your platform. We'll go um, rotation now. I'm gonna take my hands on the platform, I'm gonna reach out and back in. That's the first level of rotation, okay? I'm keeping my pelvis still. I'm just rotating my body out and then I can weave it under. Lift and go under. Breathe in and out. One more. If you feel good with that, I'm going to do the second side. Here's the option. You can go forearms, okay? You can go plank. Reach out and rotate. Stretch out up and rotate. You can keep knees down and rotate. And turn. So now I've got my little bit of rotation, okay? I know it might be going a little quick, but I just want to get these all in. You can play with them slower and longer. Side bending. These can be stacked, forearm pressing into the platform. I'm going to lift and lower. There's obliques. I love side planks. Put your hand behind your head because this is the one where everyone drops their head or tucks their shoulder. I'm pushing into the platform, hand behind the head. I'm going to lift and lower. Now, of course, you can always put your arm straight. You can always straighten your leg. Okay. Up and down. Up. I'm going to show you the different levels of side planks. And down. Lift. Okay. Let's do that on the other side. Starting with, I'm not going to say easiest because they all are challenging. Knees stacked, hand behind the head, push into the platform. I'm going to lift and lower. Press down to lift hips, lower, add on, leg out straight, line with my shoulders. Exhale, inhale. 
Want a little more intensity? Both legs are straight. Lift and drop the hips. Lift. And again, the last part could be even more intense. Lift and drop. Rainbow. It's a big rainbow you're making. Shoulder slightly behind the wrist. Whoops. Um, we can add some rotation to that. I'm not going to go there because I want to go to my chair. And I've already been out here 40 minutes and I try to keep these 30 minutes, but I know I talked a lot in the beginning, so let me stop gabbing and go right to the uh, skull trainer. Whew, I'll tell you what, that was 30 minutes of core. <laughs> if you followed me through the whole thing, that was 30 minutes of core that we just got done doing. And I don't know about you, but whew, I'm swelling here. Okay, here we go. Sculpt trainer. For all those of you that have a sculpt trainer, and um, if you have bought it, maybe you bought it because you had one at the gym and you really liked it, and now you can have your very own because you know how good, how effective it is. If you are skeptical about, I don't know if I could do that, let me assure you, the moves I'm showing you today are not going to be big and dramatic. These again are concentrated who for you. I'm feeling it for your, your core, your oblique, your, your rectus abdominis, your internal, external obliques, back muscles, and everything. And now we're going to work the butt a little bit. So I'm going to show you if you're a newbie to the chair, uh, the sculpt trainer. I'm sticking, sitting my butt here. My pelvis is neutral again. My knees are bent. I don't have my towel. Well, it's there. I'm just lazy. <laughs> Fingertips, let me show you what I'm doing with my hands. My fingertips are just touching. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pull my neck. I just want to kind of push my head back. Did you oh you didn't even see that, did you? Okay, here's fingertips are here. Just kind of hold your head. Okay, rather than holding your neck on this. I I, I change my hand placement a lot, but there's there's reasons for it. Where I'm pulling my neck. Depends what I'm doing, okay? So light fingers, exhale, flex, and inhale, eyes to the sky, extend. Flex, and extend. Now, I gotta tell you, I don't know if it's just me, because I'm warmed up, I feel deeper bending and deeper extension. Could be because I, I've been vibrating for about 30 minutes on the platform. And, you know, this it is recommended no more than 30 minutes. So all that work I just did was about 30 minutes of workout on the platform. You can break that down to 10 minutes. And it wasn't even that much because you saw I got off. But you can add that routine in one of your sessions in the day. So that's your flexion, extension, thoracic. Let's go lumbar, okay? We're going to come all the way down, drop. I want to pull my spine up. Bone by bone, restack, and then extend back, maybe a little more. Stack it up. Exhale, pull navel in. Remember that fist distance under your chin. Check yourself. Make sure you're honest about that. And then pull the belly back up. And then restack. I'm just going to do one more of these, okay? Come to neutral. Chin away from the chest. Flex. Go all the way over, get a nice stretch in your back. Now you pull the belly in to stack up over the pelvis and then extend from the heart. Oh, so good, okay? So this is a good way to warm yourself up if you're getting ready to work. Now, I could do the same thing in reverse. And guys, I want this to be baby moves. This requires more glutes, more hamstring, Okay, find neutral. Just this is glute and hamstring. And you can use that handles for right now. Tuck the chin and roll down. This is a full lumbar extension, right? Try not to use your hands, but pull the belly in. Come up and just gently hold on and eyes gaze forward, extend. I don't have a lot of extension. I feel it. I don't feel compression but I feel my muscles tightening. If you go too much, this is hyperextension, not good. I want the hip bones to stay there. 
Okay. You can tuck the chin, uh, chin, wrist under the chin, and then roll yourself up. It's a little more work. You can put your hands behind that. This is a lot of work, or the towel, because now my arms are out to the side. And roll up. So that's a pretty big move, and you might go, wow, three of those, and I'm feeling it. Start little. Okay, start little. Maybe I should have started a little. Flex and extend. Exhale and inhale. These are little little moves. I got a lot of glute going here. Remember I said core was glutes too. Exhale, use your hands lightly so, so you don't feel strain. But get that feeling. Let your back muscles so good for your back. Okay, so find that motion that works for you. Inflection, extension. Rectus abdominis flexes us. You've got all these spinal extensors that are overworked because they're stretched. They're overworked, and this is what happens to us, right? So we've got all those back muscles to lift us up. The head stays over the shoulders. You have this perfect posture. So on our side bending, I, um, I think I like... <laughs> The leg closest to the pad is in front, the outer leg back. Hips are square. Now, if I am in one long line, look at your, have a mirror so you can see your, your, this is your length right here. Watch the head doesn't drop. Maybe put one hand behind the head or get your towel. Okay, let's get the towel. Good thing I didn't go to Pilates today. <laughs> Okay, hands here. Okay, find your length. We're gonna do baby side bends. Put a bend in both knees, but make sure your, your back, top hip is not back. Bring it forward. And we're gonna side bend and opposite, okay? Flexion on, this is my right side, and now flexion on my left side. See where my head stays in line? Okay, I didn't drop my head. As you feel better with this, you go deeper and up. Big breath into the center. Exhale, drop. Inhale here. Exhale, come up. One more time. And bend. And extend. While we're on this side, let's go into rotation and um with uh, rotation, just rotation. Rotate, back to center. Not big, my hips are rotated, it's shoulders, okay? See how, sm how little the upper spine rotation really is? For all you sports enthusiasts, elbows stay wide. You can have your hands here and rotate. Now I'm on an angle, so my, my muscles are working differently because of this slight angle, kind of cool. One more. Okay, let's go on the other side. I'm gonna turn this around so you see me. And I see you and I see my form to make sure I'm in the best example for you. Okay, so the outside leg is back. The inside leg is forward. And this is a whole different side for you and me. Note that it will be different. Okay. The towel hangs there. Head is over the shoulders. We're going to side bend. Make it little first. Head goes with you. Come back up. Side bend to the right. Side bend to the left. As I mentioned, it's going to be different. It depends on how your spine, if it's perfectly down the middle or you have little uh, curves. Go a little deeper. If it feels up for you. Both knees are bent. Exhale it up. Inhale to center. Bend over. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale up and over. See how the breath is so important? Inhale. Exhale. You can always have little pulses anytime you want. Right here. And bring it up to the other side and pulse, 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 and back. That was our side bending. Flexion and extension. Now let's go rotation. Okay. 
We're gonna rotate and back to center. My, this is my uh, left arm. I'm gonna pull my left elbow back, my right elbow forward and back to center. Or you can pull this towel apart, keep it at your chest. I don't want your arms to be doing the work. I want, I want to think directionally elbow, but feel your left shoulder blade point to center. Hips are squared. One more time. And then the last movement we have um, is flexion with rotation with flexion and extension. So let me show you on this side first. Big breath in. We're going to side bend and rotate, derotate, extend, center, and back. Now that's a lot, okay? Keep the knees bent. Side bend, rotate, look to the floor, look toward me, look to the sky, look back toward me, and back. One more that way, and then we'll do the other side so you're even, because I want you to follow me on this. Side bend, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and back. Okay, <laughs> pretty good stuff. That's why um, I love the Sculpt Trainer, this particular one. I was so excited when I got this. You know, I bought one of these years ago. I was in a car accident in 2006. My spine was all jacked up. And my chiropractor said, get a, a hyperextension uh unit. Well, can I tell you, I spent a couple hundred dollars on it. I mean, a couple hundred, and that was years ago. It was heavy. I couldn't move it around. It was in my closet. I had a big walk-in closet. It was there, and it stayed there. It was so heavy. This is so nice and light. Oop, I had my legs wrong. I knew that was felt weird. This is so nice and light that I can move it, and it's portable. If you aren't familiar, the sculpture is portable. You can pop the pop pin out, lay it on the floor, slide it under the bed, but don't keep it keep it handy so you use it. Okay, that was my little commercial break. Big breath in. Stay in your line. We're gonna side bend first. Turn eyes gaze toward the floor. Turn back. Come on back to neutral. Side bend and extend. Okay. This is a whole different side. Side bend and rotate. Come back through center and rotate. Neutral, side bend, rotate, elbows wide, come back to center, neutral, side bend, and extend, and back. I'm going to do one roll down from here just to kind of neutralize my spine after that, that rotation work, okay? Shins against the pad, butt back, tuck the chin to the chest, stretch out. Knees bend a lot. Let everything kind of dangle. Okay, let it hang there. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stack up your spine. Roll up. Find your handles and lift the chest. Press down the handles. Lift up the eyes. Lift up the heart. Put one hand behind your head. It's too much for your head. Or just look forward and pull the shoulders back and release. Okay, guys. I know it's on here a little longer than I normally plan to, but I really wanted to give all of you some uh, basic foundation for all your core training. Everything starts with these specific cues and movements to get into bigger rotation without using your head, using your neck, without shifting your hips a lot. Hope you liked it. Join me next week. Please make sure, uh, if you don't know already, we are, I'll get all these lights on. Oof, too much light. I, um, we are um, on Amazon, join me on Fridays on Amazon. I'm not really sure what I'm doing yet. I haven't figured it out, but join me. Follow us on Amazon. Follow us on Facebook. Tell friends about us on the Life Pro Business page. Tell them, hey, check it out. There's some really great workouts. If I don't say so myself. Um, thank you so much for being here. We at Life Pro are so grateful for you. Have an amazing rest of your day. Bye for now.